What you doing, Felix? Make sure there ain't no glass on you. Good man. Good man. I don't care what Foxy says about you when you're not around. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hey, everybody. Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Hmm. Me? I'm all right. We are camping in Flagstaff. Um, my buddies Frank and Tammy that were down in Apache Junction, they've come to Flagstaff. And my buddy Felix, he's come up from Sholo. Spent a little bit of time here. Uh, I've been out looking and scouting for a good campsite. And I'm going to tell you exactly where I'm at, but I'll show you the campsite and show you what I found. Lady B is nice and level. Got a lot of pine trees and whatnot around us. Got a place to put my friend's big Monaco Class A diesel pusher. I think Felix will fit right here. Got plenty of sunshine. I've been out cleaning up glass for about the last 20 minutes. Don't want the dogs to get into it. Somebody was shooting bottles off this stump along with a fire extinguisher. I sure hope the dogs don't get over here in this. You know, we're, we're, you should pick it up, Kevin. Where do, where do I put it? You know, what, what do I do with it? I mean, I just put it up here close to the tree. Shoo, shoo, May -mays. You don't want any cut feet. You don't want to go back to the to the doctor, do you, Tuck? No way, man. I mean, Dr. Despain was a nice guy and all, but, you know. So it's kind of a well-traveled spot. We're gonna lose, we're gonna lose our land. We're gonna lose everything. Somebody burned mattresses and... What about that? That bottle, that bottle didn't burn. Isn't that crazy? Tin cans either. What do, what do you do? I don't, I don't know the answer anymore. You scratching your tummy? You scratching your tummy? You gonna bring all that dirt inside? Y'all wanna go back inside? Go on in. Zoom, yum, yum. Anyway, my friends will be pulling in here soon. Here come my friends. Frank and Tammy have a 2001 Monaco Imperial diesel pusher. What a beauty. What a beauty. There's Miss Gypsy. Hard to believe this coach right here is 20 years old. He's gone and tended most of the windows on this gypsy. Looking good. Tammy's following up in the Dodge pick em up truck. Foxy lady barking out orders to Felix. Everybody's playing. Musical chairs find their spot. Looks a lot better without Ms. America on the back. Morning, Felix. 
Pull up as tight as you need to. As long as you level. You ought to get plenty of sun today. I like it. I don't think Frank cares a whole lot for it. I think it's a good spot. It is it's a real good spot. Yeah, uh, if I, everything that I looked at. You know, we all fit, and, and, and we got good cell phone signal, and um, um, we got plenty of sun for solar. It's a good spot. How'd you get so smart, Tucker? I, I'm well-traveled. You are a well-traveled dog. Do you like this place, Martini? It's okay. It'll, it'll be all right. I, I like it a lot. You got a good place to play with your piggy, piggy, piggy. <laughs> yep. You nice and level? Yeah. Well, I like that shirt, Felix. It's an old shirt. That's with a Fasta Shasta. With the Fasta Shasta. Come on. Let her check it out. I've been picking up glass. Of course, I didn't get it all, but I got a lot of it. Watch where you step. I let uh, I let the wolf pack go, and what do they do? They run straight into the the what, the fire pit. Uh, glass and cans and bed springs and everything. I was just telling everybody we're gonna lose we're gonna lose all our camping if people don't start yeah. picking up something. We're gonna lose it. We're gonna lose it fast. They were over here shooting uh, bottles and a uh, fire extinguisher. Looked like some big old hand cannon. And then right up the road, there's a bunch of pallets and stuff on the side of the road. We can go pick it up and use it to burn. All right. Yep, well, plan. He got that pretty Imperial in here. Miss Gypsy's bringing in 900 watts of solar. But it uh, won't be long before the sun won't be having to go through these trees and he'll get the full 1280. People say they're real excited to see me put this solar on. But the fact of the matter is, I don't know when or where I'm going to put it on. I was just, let me get out of this wind. I was just real convenient to picking up the panels and I had a place to put them. So I hope it won't be a long time. But it very well may be. I'll get that solar on. I need it. Believe you me, I want these solar panels out and on. I need the storage. I've been looking for my shocks online. So I've been trying to order some replacement shocks. These are Takiko's Y2083. And uh, I think they quit making them. I may have to have some custom struts made. I've looked everywhere. But uh, yeah, I gotta get these panels out. Felix is tidying up. Need a rake. That's their dog there, Wilson. I think he's a Rhodesian Ridgeback. Then they got a little Dash Hound. Abigail. Trying to keep him out of the glass. You know, what it, you, people don't think about, you know, what about... I mean, if you don't worry about the dogs, don't you worry about other people's kids? Stepping on glass? Or yourself? Not enough of that. I'm always talking about it. A little side door here makes a good shade. Yeah, it does. Now listen, I don't know who Naruto is, but they were.
marked on special at the department store. And they sure are comfortable, make good sleep pants. They're getting, <clears throat> Frank and Tammy are getting set up. I call that a Monaco. It's Imperial by Holiday Rambler. I don't know where I got Monaco from. I don't know my diesel pushers near as good as I do my gas. Class A's and C's and stuff. What a beauty. Well, it's a little bit later during the day, and I came, uh, I came inside. Um, I remember something that I've been meaning to tell you. Um, you remember a few weeks ago when Tucker, um, we were traveling, we brought, we had bought Lady B, Felix and I were coming back from Colorado and he picked up some decon rat poison somewhere. Um, if not, here's a link in the description on one of the other sides here. Um, I traveled about 60, 70 miles to Snowflake, Arizona. And I, uh, thank goodness, I found this Dr. Milton de Spain. Um, what's the name? I think it's uh, Cedar, Cedar Ridge. Anyway, he's there in Snowflake. He's easy to find if you need him. He saved Tucker's life. He was able to give him uh, vitamin K1 fluids and everything. It was kind of touch and go. Tucker liked to bled, bled to death. And heck of a nice guy. Heck of a nice guy, that doctor. Well, he wrote, uh, he wrote me a letter. And uh, it's a letter that he wanted to talk about something. Let me see if we can do something here. That help. That helps a lot, I think. <laughs> uh, he wrote me a letter because he wanted me to tell my audience this. So I'm just going to simply just read it. All right. I got to cut my hair. A little like my daddy. I'm not getting my daddy's hair. Anyway, here we go. Hello, Kevin. I finally got a chance to see a couple of episodes of your YouTube channel. I thought that you might use your influence to update folks about the dangers of rodenticide, uh, rat mouse poison. Here's why. You see, Tucker was lucky that the poison was the old anticoagulant type. The poison, while very dangerous, can be easily treated with vitamin K1 to reverse the effects. However, the EPA has forced manufacturers to change from anticoagulants to neurotoxins, or a chemical that causes kidney failure, and even one that converts to phosphine gas in the stomach. There are no antidotes, none, for these new rodenticides, no treatment to reverse the effects. Please urge your listeners to be extra, extra careful when using these products. I'm glad to see Tucker is doing so well. Thank your viewers for the wonderful emails, phone calls, and cards. You guys are awesome. I think a lot of people got in touch with him and thanked him for saving Tucker's life. So this is a heck of a nice guy. I believe he's been a vet there in Snowflake for a long time, so he knows what he's talking about. That's kind of scary. I mean, I don't know. We'll just take it for what what he says. So, Tucker got lucky, but if he'd have got a hold of a newer mixture, a newer formula... There'd have been nothing they could have done to have saved him. So, thank you, Dr. Despain, for saving Tucker's life. How is Tucker? Well, you know, he's he's mostly okay. Uh, we've got this new dog in camp, um, Wilson, and he wants to play with Tucker, but Tucker just doesn't want to play. Hey, Tut-Tut. 
Hey, Tuck Tuck. Tuck Tuck. What do you want, man? Can a dog get a break around here? Don't you know you let sleeping dogs lie? Well, Tucker, we're talking about you. Are you still sickies? Is Tucker sickies? Not, not like I was. Yeah, I, Tucker, I don't think you're fully recovered. Not 100%. You lost a lot of weight. So, I think he's going to be okay. I think he's just lazy right now. But uh, he sure doesn't want to do a whole lot nowadays. Had to be hard on him. Okay. Okay, well, that's what I wanted to tell you. Just wanted to show you our new camp. Hanging out with good friends. Got us a new place to stay. Everything's going right as rain. I'm feeling okay. Uh, of course, I don't feel like running around and chasing people or chasing dogs either. But, uh, yeah. I got to sneeze. Hold on. Be right back. That's about five sneezes. <laughs> I may have a little bit of a cold. I'm going to have to hit my... Uh, have to hit my uh, my silver, my colloidal silver. Get rid of it. Maybe uh, pollen off these pines. Okay, well that makes today's video just everyday stuff. That's what I show you on the Camper Van Kevin Show. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey. We'll see you again soon. You guys take care. As always, I give as always I give God the glory for my life and Jesus Christ is my savior. Okay. We got to go. I got to go pick up some glass. Found some more. We'll see you next time. Bye.